Stop calling me old. Really, stop it. Stop calling me old. Look, I'm 45. Am I old? Uh, middle age now. But just because I'm getting older and have more years of experience doesn't mean my body needs to hurt more. Doesn't mean it needs to get worse. Yes, some things degenerate. I've got wrinkles. <laughs> See, when I smile, I get wrinkles. Um, as I get older, some things aren't going to work as well. But just because I get older doesn't mean things have to hurt. So you see I've got wrinkles on my face, which means I've got wrinkles on the inside too. But just because I have wrinkles doesn't mean that I can't play hard, work hard, move well, and feel great. Okay, now that I'm 45, I know what my body needs better than it did when I was 20 and 30. When I was in my 20s and early 30s, I just wanted to push my body as hard as I could. I used to race bicycles. I was a semi-pro cyclist. I went as hard as I could. The goal was to push my body as hard as I could, and it didn't always work as well as it could. If I knew then what I know now, maybe I could have even been on the next level, but I raced bikes and I, I didn't do drugs, so who knows. <laughs> my job is uh, sometimes made harder by the things that we tell ourselves. So what we do here at LeBauer Physical Therapy is we help people who wanna be active and healthy do that without unnecessary medications, injections, and surgery. And sometimes, because we're getting older, we're like, oh, I'm getting older, I need to hurt more. And so a question was posted a few weeks ago, and it went like this, you know, should I just get used to the idea of a pulled back or neck muscles at my age? And it's a very common question. Because as we get older, we have more life experiences. And just because we get older doesn't mean we have to hurt more or things have to be pulled more. So um, if, you're, if you're watching, comment below and let me know um, where you're calling in from. And be sure to tell Facebook you want to be notified when I go live. I try to do these on a regular basis, but sometimes inspiration hits and I just got to go live. Here's the thing. I feel better now than I did 20 years ago, not because I'm not pushing myself because I exercise three to five days a week. What I'm pushing is I'm pushing my movement quality, not my movement quantity. I've also had other people, other physical therapists, help me identify where my body doesn't move efficiently, where it doesn't move well. So it used to be eight to 10 years ago when I do pull-ups, my shoulders would pop and click and they would hurt and I would do too many and my neck would get stiff. Now I know how to move and how to correct the movements that are causing that because those aren't neck and shoulder problems those are more for me a mid back problem and a little bit of a shoulder mobility problem i know i need to work on and i can work out harder and i can go harder than i used to and i feel better in my body so just because we're getting old doesn't mean we have to hurt and conversely we should not expect a life free of pain. Pain isn't bad. It's, what's our understanding of pain? Most people think pain, bad, danger, I need to go get something fixed. But we can have a healthy body and still have pain. Pain is feedback from our body that we need to pay attention to something. It might be telling us that, hey Aaron, you're about to put your hand on the burner, don't touch it. I'd say, hey, you've just sprained your ankle, stay off of it for a few days. Pain could also say, hey, you're not moving well, so your knee's gonna hurt, but it's not a knee problem, it's a hip problem. But how do we find that out? Well, here at LeBauer Physical Therapy, one of the things we do, not only do we look at where your pain is, we look at the areas around, above, and below, and your whole body, because sometimes it's a joint above or below, or even further away, it's causing your problem. I once had a patient who, when she tried to deadlift over 300 pounds, she'd get sharp pain in the front of her hip, but it wasn't her hip that was the problem, it was her upper back, because as she would try to deadlift up, she wasn't extending, and so now she's having to do more work in her hip. So what the problem was is where she hurt was a place that was strong and overworking. And she didn't have weakness, she just had an area that didn't know how to move anymore. And I don't know why it could have been an injury, a tightness, a protective mechanism. 
So we got her upper back moving and then she would deadlift 350. Well, deadlifting is, that's a lot of weight. So I have people who come in and they have knee pain with running or knee pain with walking up and down stairs, but it's not their knee that's the problem. Even if they do have arthritis on an x-ray, it's the way their hips or ankles are not moving. So now their knee has to do more work. The muscles around the knee have to do more work to stabilize. And where do they attach? They attach at your knee, but really it's a muscle that's trying to stabilize your hip. But it pulls at your knee and your knee hurts. You go in to see um, primary care specialist, surgeon, someone else, and they don't look at the whole body. They look where the pain is and they go, oh, you got a knee problem. Let's rest it. Let's give you some medicine. Let's inject it. See if that works. You know what? You got arthritis on the x-ray. We should, we should replace it or do a, a scope. But really, what's the problem? It's up in their hip. Their hip's unstable or their ankle doesn't move because they sprained it a lot being younger playing volleyball or soccer or basketball. Not enough people are looking at the whole body. But why do I feel better at 45 than I did at 35? It's because I know where I need to move, I know what I need to do during my workouts, before and after my workouts, and in my mobility sessions to help my body feel better because I focus on quality of movement and the movement patterns that I don't do very well. How can you find this out for yourself? Well, you could go to YouTube and just try a bunch of different exercises and see what works. It's like the shotgun approach. And sometimes it doesn't work and people go, oh, physical therapy, the exercise doesn't work because it wasn't the right one for your body. The other thing you could do is you could listen to your friend's advice and see what they're doing and try what they're doing. But their body probably moves differently than yours. And then the third option would be come in and see us or see a physical therapist like us who can look at your whole body Watch you move and help you understand, is it a mobility or stiffness problem, or is it an instability or um, motor control problem? And let me explain what those two things are. One of them is you can't move it and I can't move it. And the other one is, is you can't move it, but I can move it. And if you can't move it, but I can move it, that's um, your brain does no longer allowing you to move through that range of motion, either to protect you or it protected you for so long you forgot how to do it. And for a lot of problems, they feel like a stiffness and a mobility problem, and all it really is is a control issue. We can teach you how to control your body, move it through its available range of motion, and it won't feel um, tight anymore. For instance, a majority of people who have tight hamstrings will spend all day rolling them. Um, they'll do a 20-minute warm-up on rolling their hamstrings, stretching their hamstrings, focus a lot in yoga. One of the things I, I love yoga, but I don't like about yoga is a lot of forward folds, not a lot of extension. But stretch your hamstrings, stretch, stretch, stretch. And it just irritates. But what do they really need is I can take them out of gravity. They can touch their toes. So they need to learn a new um, exercise. They need a prescription for um, quality movement. And then they can touch their toes easily and their hamstrings aren't tight. And it's not a strength problem. It's not a mobility problem. And then there are other people, like one of my good friends, who's got a mobility problem. What we got to do is we got to work on his mobility. But how are you going to know that unless someone else can do it for you? And even myself as a doctor of physical therapy, I can't always do it myself. I have to have one of our other physical therapists here at Lower PT or a clinical instructor. I'm off at a con ed. Look at me and go, oh. You know, well, what's wrong with your ankle? This is what a clinical instructor said. I was like, what do you mean what's wrong with my ankle? He's like, well, your ankle is not moving well. And I was like, huh. I was like, that's why my left knee was hurting a few years ago when I was doing this certain workout. So if you want to help figuring out how do you feel better the older you get, because you can feel better the older you get, and you want us to help you figure out what you should actually be doing so you use your time wisely before and after your workouts, all you got to do is send me a message, go to Facebook somewhere and do send message and send to LeBauer PT or to Aaron LeBauer on my page and say, hey, Dr. LeBauer, I'd love to get a total body diagnostic exam. This is a free exam that we offer. And at the end of the exam, we'll know exactly what's wrong, exactly what you need to do and what your time, financial and um, effort investment is going to be to get you to where you want to go. But I can't help you get there if I don't know you have a problem. And if you've tried things over and over again and someone said, well, you're just old, you're just going to have to accept it, don't accept that answer because you can move better the older you get. You can feel better 
um, you sometimes you just have to work a little harder at it or reframe your expectations about what your body should be doing. And if you want to speak to someone about it because you're frustrated, um, not making any progress, uh, send me a message and um, be happy to chat with you. Um, get one of our uh, back pain and um, movement specialists uh, to speak with you as well, Dr. Herzog. Um, something we're here for you all you gotta do is let us know comment um, what you're struggling with shoot me a message and we'll go from there thanks so much have a great day move well move often and keep on moving mm -hmm.